first part of this lecture will make you conceptually perfect and the second part will help you achieve perfection in writing multiple objectives of business don't we make money don't we serve society don't we give charities don't we strive for mental and physical health don't we build a social relations so हमारे लाइफ के कई सारे ऑब्जेक्टिव्स हैं सेम इज़ द केस विथ बिजनेस जनरली इट इज़ प्रज्यूम दैट अर्निंग प्रॉफिट इज़ द होल एंड सोल ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ एनी बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट दैट इज़ नॉट द रियलिटी। इन रियलिटी, ईच एंड एवरी बिजनेस हैज मल्टीपल ऑब्जेक्टिव्स। मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव्स आर मार्केट स्टैंडिंग इनोवेशन प्रोडक्टिविटी फिजिकल एंड फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्स अर्निंग प्रॉफिट्स manager performance and development worker performance and attitude and social responsibility please note in few books these objectives are grouped as economic objectives these as personal objectives and these as social objectives but as per cbsc and ncert there are no such groupings so these are the multiple objectives market standing what is the meaning of market standing market standing refers to the position of a business enterprise in relation to its competitors each and every business must strive for and aim at standing on stronger footings with respect to goods or services being provided competitive products pricing at appropriate places and ultimately maximum satisfaction of the consumers for example look at the market standing in terms of the market share of maruti suzuki company over a period of time it is holding a stronger about 50% of the market share over the couple of years look at the market standing of different players in the telecom sector particularly the jio in a couple of years it has become the market leader and it is currently holding around 30 to 35% of the market share innovation as an objective of business enterprise innovation means introduction of new ideas and methods of doing things be it production of goods or rendering of services innovations are of two kinds first innovation related to product or services and second innovation related to the skills or activities being applied in today's dynamic environment no business can survive without innovation for example in this demanding time hard times educational institutions are also innovating new technology new skills to provide education and the level of innovations being implemented is unprecedented productivity as an objective of business enterprises productivity is a measurement of efficiency and efficiency is related to the use of inputs that is how good we used our inputs to get the output suppose we are the manufacturers we use raw material in order to process them into the output each and every business organization must strive for increasing the productivity or efficiency to put it in a different way we can increase the efficiency by producing the given output with the use of minimum inputs or to produce the maximum output with the given inputs i repeat to produce the given output with the minimum use of inputs or to produce maximum output with the given amount of inputs to sum up that means maximum output with the use of minimum resources minimum inputs and sir how this picture is related to the topic of productivity this is the real life example the property developers all around the world are facing some constraints constraints regarding the horizontal dimensions kyunki horizontally hamare paas jo surface area hai wo to limited hai na 
तो प्रॉपर्टी को हम हॉरिजोंटली हम ग्रो डेवलप नहीं कर सकते ज़्यादा बिकॉज ऑफ द लिमिटेड एवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ लैंड तो प्रॉपर्टी डेवलपर्स क्या करते हैं वर्टिकल हाइट्स का यूज करते हैं दिस इज द इंक्रीजिंग ट्रेंड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड इनफैक्ट द प्रपोज मेगा प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑफ स्मार्ट सिटीज इन इंडिया इज बेस्ड ऑन द वर्टिकल डायमेंशन ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी डेवलपमेंट एंड नॉट हॉरिजोंटल फिजिकल एंड फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्सेज एज एन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ बिजनेस एज वी ऑलरेडी नो Business is an economic activity that is related to the production or procurement of goods and services for the purpose of sale, exchange or transfer. In order to carry on with the activities, each and every business requires physical as well as financial resources. Physical resources in terms of land and building, plant and equipments, machines, offices and financial resources, but obviously money. So each and every business aims to acquire the resources best suited to them and that will pave the way to the survival and success of the business entity earning profits as an objective of business entity earning profits is considered as the main objective or the principal objective of any business because earning profit is necessary to ensure survival no business can survive for long enough with continuous losses being incurred in fact profits are necessary not only for the survival but also for the expansion growth and success of any business entity it is generally felt that earning profit is the whole and sole objective of any business entity but that is incorrect in reality earning profits is one of the objective there are several other objectives also for example jaise hame zinda rehne ke liye khana peena zaruri hai lekin khana peena hi hamare jeevan ka ek maqsad nahi hai aur bhi bahut sare maqsad hai objectives hain same is the case with business business ke liye profit kamana zaruri hai lekin केवल प्रॉफिट कमाने के लिए ही बिजनेस नहीं होता जैसे जिंदगी के लिए खाने पीने का रेलेवेंस है वैसे ही बिजनेस के लिए प्रॉफिट कमाने का रेलेवेंस है लेकिन इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि केवल प्रॉफिट कमाने के लिए ही बिजनेस एग्जिस्ट करता है मैनेजर परफॉर्मेंस एंड डेवलपमेंट एज एन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ बिजनेस एवरी बिजनेस रिक्वायर मैनेजर टू कंडक्ट एंड कॉर्डिनेट ऑल द एक्टिविटीज इनफैक्ट मैनेजमेंट इज एन आर्ट एंड साइंस ऑफ गेटिंग थिंग्स डन फ्रॉम अदर्स efficiently and effectively therefore managers get things done from others efficiently and effectively and it is the objective of each and every business to motivate the managers to increase their efficiency to increase their performance and to look after their development and this will automatically reflected in the overall development of the organization for example in reality many business organizations organize special specific training and development program for their managers because this will increase the effectiveness and efficiency of their managers worker performance and attitude as an objective of business in any business there are managers on one side and workers on the other managers get things done from others and workers are the actual doers of the work therefore overall efficiency and effectiveness of the business and its survival and success is dependent on the performance and attitude of workers also therefore each and every business aims at improving the performance and positive attitude of the workers social responsibility as an objective of business social responsibility refers to the obligation of each and every business to contribute its resources for solving the social problems and to act in a socially desirable way and why each and every business is responsible towards society for the simple reason that each and every business requires resources for inputs for processing and for output 
society provides all the required resources to the business therefore it's natural that each and every business is responsible towards society and therefore should act in a socially desirable way aur agar socially desirable way mein kaam nahi karega to aapne nahi suna hai kai sare chinese products ke upar ban hai the reason is because they have not fulfilled their social responsibility they have not acted in a socially desirable way and this social responsibility can take different paths for example promoting low carbon society promoting resource circulation and recycling of the resources contributing to healthy and environmentally safe society promoting human rights promoting education promoting science promoting arts promoting culture following rules and regulations let us deal with some practical examples abhi virus phaila hua hai isme kis tarike se alag alag businesses contribute kar rahe hain towards the society for example maruti suzuki is a car manufacturing company right वो क्या मैन्युफैक्चर कर रहे हैं अभी आप अपने एक यूनिट में मालूम है वेंटिलेटर्स वेंटिलेटर्स बिकॉज देर इज शॉर्टेज ऑफ वेंटिलेटर्स इन हॉस्पिटल महिंद्रा एंड महिंद्रा विप्रो ये प्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं मास्क प्रॉफिट कमाने के लिए नहीं बट टू सर्व सोसाइटी बिकॉज देर इज शॉर्टेज ऑफ मास्क मेनी कंपनीज आर प्रोवाइडिंग फूड एंड मनी एस अ रिलीफ एस अ चैरिटी now let us consider one of the best cut now let us consider one of the best example just visualize the society as a big tree and the businesses as its branches tell me kya branches survive kar payenge tree ke bina possible hi nahi hai because branches to part hai tree ka tree ko nuksan pahuncha to branches ko bhi nuksan pahunchega ट्री सर्वाइव नहीं कर पाएगा तो ब्रांचेस भी सर्वाइव नहीं कर पाएंगे चाहे वो कितने भी स्ट्रॉन्ग क्यों ना हो सेम इज द केस विथ द सोसाइटी एंड बिजनेस बिजनेस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सोसाइटी सोसाइटी को प्रॉब्लम होगा तो अल्टीमेटली बिजनेस को भी प्रॉब्लम होगा अभी हो रहा है ना वायरस में सोसाइटी को कितने ट्रबल्स हैं अल्टीमेटली रिफ्लेक्ट हो रहा है बिजनेसिस के ऊपर भी और इसीलिए बिजनेसिस हेल्प कर रहे हैं सोसाइटी को रिवाइव करने के लिए how to memorize these objectives in a sequential order first through a story please concentrate market mein ek innova khadi thi usme ek producer baitha tha producer apne physical aur financial resources se dusron ko dara raha tha achanak se uske kaan ke niche kisi ne de mari प्रोड्यूसर ने पलट के देखा तो मारने वाला उसका मैनेजर ही था मैनेजर को देख के प्रोड्यूसर के वर्कर भी उसी के ऊपर टूट पड़े और फिर सोसाइटी वाले भी बैती गंगा में हाथ धो लिया उन्होंने एंड द सेकंड वे इज थ्रू अब्रिवेशन माय पपी पपी नहीं पपी टू manager worker and to the whole society my puppy to manager worker and to the whole society or the third way am i ne ek product launch kiya hai jisko physically kaan mein pehnna padta hai aur wo manager worker aur puri society ke liye bahut helpful hai 